Welcome back to Eratus, Lord of the Dead, folks. We are ready to head out into battle. So we have one talent point, but we are working towards the Relentless Evil here. So we're not going to be using it right now. And we have a quest coming up here. Then we have some battles here. We're going to meet golems, which I do not like. And then we have a Steli over here and the boss. So let's head on to this quest and see what happens. Your minions stumble upon a field of mushrooms littered with human bones. You can't recall ever having seen this particular variety, but you can already tell that it produces a powerful poison. While your minions are quickly gathering any use usable remains for your stockpiles, you wonder what would be the best way to use this discovery. Study them, probability 60 to 40%, let your Undead strengthen, poison their weapons, strengthen your minions. I'm gonna chance it. Amazing what they nice. just leave lying so After spending a few hours experimenting on the mushrooms while your hordes continue to make progress, your theories are proven to be correct. A pinch of their poison, when properly balanced, can sharpen the mind and enhance the senses. So, zero mana, but four bones. Okay. I can dig it. Let's see. Here in alchemy, we do have some parts. We have a lot of flesh. Does anyone need flesh? Nope, no one needs flesh. No one. Okay. So that means that if we go back into alchemy, if we say... Okay, so we can make hearts from flesh. So who need, needs a heart? The Banshee needs a heart. So we could make some hearts. We have six, so we just need to make two more hearts. Let's do that. Uh, transportation, heart. Uh, skeleton will clean up go. this mess later. And actually, let's make it's one no more. It's no gold, but it will do. And then we can go to... Distillation, I guess. And ah, the smell of successful alchemy. <coughs> very nice heart. Uh, skeleton plus six accuracy, plus two initiative, plus three dread. That's not half bad. That is not half bad. So we're going to give the Banshee that heart. Legendary heart. Gets plus six accuracy, which is very useful for it. Plus two initiative is also useful. And the dread, of course, is also useful. So there. That's a nice heart for her. Let's head back to the dungeon and head into battle here where we're going to be facing headsmen, which do a crap ton of damage if they get the chance. And a Doomsayer as well. <laughs> Don't like that one bit. You are going to stand so <laughs> And again, they start picking on my Lich more or less immediately. Put the in there. And he is gonna buff. So you are going to stance up here. You marked him. So we really need to debuff here. Hmm. Let's pull these guys. That pulls him back in the third position, which means that he can't use his attack. Right, he got a perk. Plus four bigger. Very nice. We're gonna stick down the poison cloud here. The plague cloud, sorry, the plague cloud. And there we go. You are gonna pull, which Oh, that's bad. You're gonna wait and pull after his turn. Nice, you betrayed him. 
you are going to stand up. Okay. okay, she's marked. And that moves her, which really sucks. I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Now. You actually let's abyssal hunger here. Get healed up. Him, you are going to. I guess you're doing your magic attack because we want you to move back. So let's magic attack here. Push that guy back. All the way to the back. Oh, he died. He died. Opposing me. Okay. Your last. That's poison cloud here. And you get into your stance. You pull. He dies so that okay. you can live. And you need to remove your debuffs here. There's just no two ways about it. Okay. He buffed up again. Let's put you into your stance. Put you into your stance. You can poison cloud. And then you can pull him. Alright. Very good. Kill him. Nope. 33 damage. Okay. The end is coming. Okay. We really need this guy to die now. As in really, really. Let's... We can't wait. There he goes. Nice. Alright, so you can now stare at him. He's insane. And we can put down a cloud here. And a heart attack. Good. Soon this world. Okay, so that worked out pretty well. The only one that took damage was a little ditch. We got some stuff and everything is fine and dandy. Very good. So our Dark Knight again trained, our Lich healed up so we can just swap them out. And yeah. Pretty good. So the Lich here leveled up. So we're going to give you resistance here. Serve me well, well my minion. What I really want him to have is armor and stuff. A block. Because he is he is the main focus of their attacks every single time. Every single time. The Banshee leveled up as well. And so we'll take this one to give her one block, one ward while in her stance. She's going to be in her stance all the time anyway. Results. Now, this is a little bit unfortunate. I should not have put this item on hers. I should have put it on the Banshee because the Banshee is mainly in position four. But we will leave it on her. Well, we don't have a choice and we will leave that there. So, yeah. Okay, so our other leech build up here, so we can do this. And we do have enough to unlock another spot here now. So let's you build know that. So we need two minions. Construction work. Build lab. Uh, let's see, what do we need to unlock other spots? We need a leech. We need zombie and another bone golem so let's make a zombie there. but all firepower 
You know what? Let's make a bone golem as well. Ah, this is what a necromancer's war machine looks okay. like. And we'll stick you two in there. And that means that Eratus is gaining more experience. Very nice. So let's move on to our artifact chest here. So our item chest coffin. So plus one ward. Once every three turns, Eratus restores eight wrath. Triggers up to eight three times. Okay, plus two resistance once every two turns, plus four bigger for three turns. And plus two initiative when moving, plus six accuracy for three turns. Backs up to three times. Okay. So I think I know who... Well, ah, we only get one of them. Uh, so I want the resistance and vigor. Ah, I, and I want use it this. on our lich here. Okay. Let's move on. I think we, well, we haven't unlocked that yet, so that's our next unlock. So let's just move on to the next battle. There's gonna be a golem in there. At least one. There are two and two... I don't remember what they're called. Mad mages. You are going to wait. You're going to go into your stance. Okay. You are gonna play Cloud here. Okay. Ooh, he missed. You dance up. You're gonna pull. Yeah. He's gonna scream at him. Okay. Extinction of life. Nice. He's insane. You are going to go into your stance. I really don't want to pull here, so we'll just do this. <laughs> I want those two in the back. Okay. <clears throat> He's insane. Let's play Cloud here. Hopefully killing the golem. Nope. Don't hit. Thank you. Okay. He's immune to that, unfortunately, but it's fine. You head into your stance. You play Cloud here in the middle. Okay, you get healed up. And you pull. <coughs> Alright, he had a heart attack, he had a heart attack. Very nice. So now it's just the golems. A miss there, that's good. A hit there, that's not good. So, you can't really do anything to them. So you can just stance up and get the clock and award. You need to start attacking. Not a whole lot of damage, but better than nothing. She can't really do anything about him. But she can pull if we had a plague cloud. He's gonna skip his turn. Ouch. Ouch.
Hmm. Yeah, you just dance up again. You wait. You stick down a plague cloud here. Hopefully killing one of them. Nope. You attack. Okay. Don't, don't. Thank you. Okay. You pull. Then we, I, I just want to pull them into the play cloud or as much as possible because every time they have a chance, a 5% chance of getting killed, right? So that's really what it's all about. You... Wait. You... Attack there. You... Play cloud here. Kill it, kill it! Immune. My hordes are without number. Ding dong, the lich is dead. As usual. Now she can't pull. He needs to move back. You do that. Make them skip their next turns. Okay. Now you can pull. Damn it. I think we're gonna wipe here. Rage released. Okay. I have a strong feeling that we're going to wipe out here. Very strong feeling. Hmm. I actually want her to move forward now. Which can't do on her own. Hmm. We're gonna need him to get the orbs. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Oh, not right don't kill him. Right, so we're gonna wipe here. These two can't do anything. I want you to move back. Then at least she can do this magic attack. 31 damage. Ow. Okay, you move back again. And now you can do your attack again. Nice. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, <laughs> pathetic. Okay. And another attack here. It actually does a lot of damage. Nice block. We could actually make it out of here. We could make it out of here. You wait. You move back. And nice miss. One more time and we make it out of here. You move back. You do your magic thing. And we made it! So we didn't Another wipe. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. In actual fact, we did not wipe. 
Okay. Our Lich got healed, Dark Knight trained, and it wasn't... Yeah, we put the heart there, so we didn't lose any of the good parts. Well, that's good. And we actually do have a reasonable squad to take out again. Now we need a Lich and, and a Dark Knight and two other units, I think. So the Dark Knight here gets this one. Get back to battle. Oh, he has another. So he's going to get his My armor. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. And then we need to make Dark Knight. Let's see, uh, if we don't do this, what do we have? We don't have enough to make them out of better parts, so... Dark Knight. Inspiring leader, the but irrelevant to the armies of undead. What do we need to unlock here? We need a zombie and a bone golem, which we already have. We need a lich to unlock there. Stick this Dark Knight in here to do some training. We need another Lich. Let's make that. Hmm. I just and can't tell where they get their uncaring attitude from. Let's make a lost soul. There are many foes for you to play with. So we have a lost soul to go in there. And that's it. So we have a spare Lich right now, which we will eventually use. Unlock that. We have the Dark Knight painting in there. Okay. That's fine. What brains do we have? We just have a level 2 brain. Okay. All right, but we still have a pretty decent squad, so that's good. We don't want to take anything out here. Oh, we need something to sacrifice. It's gonna be a blood phantasm. You, my bloody hand, I your vengeful eyes. Let's move over here. Sacrifice a blood phantasm. Okay, plus two armor. Upon receiving damage, plus two luck. Plus one block. Upon receiving damage, plus four accuracy. Plus one block. Starting turn at position four. Plus one dread for two turns. Plus three attack. Upon receiving damage, Eratus restores four wrath. And an iron heart. Eratus gains plus 16 wrath at the beginning of the battle. Okay. So I want to get these items on some of our units here. So the dark, actually the lich, is going to get this plus two armor. And it already has that plus two initiative and gaining a bit of vigor. Then we have something that was starting in position one, didn't we? No. Starting at position four. That's actually the banshee that will be doing that the most. We should actually do that. So, upon receiving damage, Ratsus gains 3% chance to acquire extra parts. Missing with an attack, plus 2 dread for 2 turns. And gives her plus 8 accuracy. So... We're going to give the block to the Dark Knight, I think. 
And then we are going to give another block to you. And then this one plus three attack and upon receiving damage the Rousers restores four wrath. I think we'll give that to you. Okay. And then we had an artifact here, Iron Heart. But I would much rather have this one. So that's fine. And let's head into the next battle. So it's gonna be this squad. There are mad mages in this battle. One mad mage, elite mad mage, and damn headsman. Okay, so you He's the same. And he's on the trail. Excellent. He's marking her and moving her all the way to the front. Which really sucks. You wait. You go all the way to the back. Defensive stance. You get into your stance. Now you can pull. <laughs> Buff both of them. Very nice. The Mad Mage went insane as well. Weakness. Minus 5 initiative. Damage dealt is reduced by 25. Damage received and is increased by 25. So that's nice. You are gonna wait. You are gonna go into your stance. You went into a stance. You are going to go back into your stance. And you are going to put down the play cloud. Very nice. Buffing up. Okay. Okay. It's insane now. Right. He's insane. And you can now pull. Buffing them up. And having her scream at them and he one less annoyance in the world. One of them died already. And there we go. Ooh, this Mother one dead. avoided its bowels just as it Excellent. died. Plus 5 attack critical damage increased by 50%. Can we... Let's remove all buff and de buffs and debuffs from the enemies here. Why? Okay, you get back in your stance, you play Cloud in the front here, hopefully killing him. Death. Yes, let me put you forward into the Cloud, now you need to just attack. Nice block. He wants to escape, so he is definitely not going to be doing damage to us. You stress him out some more. Nice. And we'll stick down the play cloud here. Hopefully, flame. Yes, our attack. Okay. That went really, really well. Got a bundle of dynamite some souls and some parts okay so our banshee and lost soul got healed up our dark knight drained a little got some blood and it's all good we got this bundle of dynamite at the beginning of combat all enemies lose 20 to 30 vigor ignores ward one time use that's actually really nice but i think the minus 15 accuracy is is better 
Okay, so let's have a look at our graveyard here. You don't need to be in there. We want to swap out and have him heal up. I think we do. So that means that we can stick Banshee in there. We want you to heal. And I think that's it. The Dark Knight here is going to get the plus three grab. I expect and the Banshee that results. leveled up is going to get, I think, some initiative from this one. Now, prove yourself worthy okay. of my investment. The Lich is fine, I think. We do have a level 2 brain, so let's give that to you. Serve that. me well, and Then we will actually minion. swap it out. And stick that Lich in there to heal up. We have another Lich here. It's, that's level 1. Okay. We have enough souls to actually open up another spot here. We want to wait and get this up. I think we want to wait and get this up as fast as possible so that he gets more. Experience, Ratsus. And now we have three talent points so we can unlock this, making red. our minions heal eight bigger if Ratsus has at least 75 breath. And that is fantastic. So we're going to do that. All right. So yeah, it's going reasonably well at the moment. So uh, I am hopeful that we can make it further than we did last time. But that is going to be it for this time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.